What does a, the, a thinner line on your locator indicate that you need to know about? Good morning, guys and girls. Good morning. Whew, chilly out here. December 5, December 5, we're looking at Philippians 4, 6 in a Catch a Better Life book. This particular book took me over two years to write, and um, I'm telling you, it's a daily devotional book. We have a daily devotional, uh, a scripture for every day from God's Word, both Old Testament and New Testament, a, uh, a devotional that is built around fishing, and a fishing tip for every single day. We have a YouTube channel, Catch a Better Life with Jimmy Houston. If you're not subscribed to that YouTube channel, be sure and subscribe to it. Now, we also have another YouTube channel, Jimmy Houston Outdoors Fishing. Make sure you're on that. That's all fishing. Another one, which is our largest YouTube channel, over 120,000 on that one, that uh, is Chris and Jimmy Houston's Twin Eagle Ranch. That's got all our deer and everything on it. So it's really cool. But make sure you're subscribed to the Catch a Better Life channel, uh, no matter what you are on social media, because this, this channel will absolutely change your life for the better. You will catch a better life. We're looking at Philippians 4, 6, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. So don't worry about anything, but with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving, pray with thanksgiving and let your requests be known unto God. It's almost impossible for a tournament fisherman not to worry. <laughs> Especially when we've found a big bunch of fish. It's almost impossible not to worry. I don't care who you are. Will they move? What if the weather changes? Who else might have found these fish or be on this same type pattern and maybe just run across them fishing that pattern in the tournament? Obviously, worry does not catch one single bass. No matter how much we worry, no matter how much we think about what could happen to that bunch of fish, that's not going to catch one. That's not going to catch one. Paul said in this verse, not to worry about anything. Not to worry about anything. Why? My buddy Jerry Cox knows this and answers that question for sure. Because worry shows a lack of trust in God and in His power. When we're worrying about something, whatever it might be, we're telling God, I don't really trust you to handle this, God. So I'm going to worry about it. I'm going to lose sleep over it. I'm going to complain about it. But Paul has the solution to worry. That's a great thing. This verse right here. One of the great things about the Bible, it'll point something out and it'll tell us why we should do it or not do it. Paul's got the solution. The solution is that we humbly take it to God in prayer with thanksgiving in our heart. Here's the key. We're asking God for solutions. We're asking God for solutions. I, 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 I say... I, I use a, the analogy, we're laying our problem, our question that we don't have an answer to, we're laying that at the foot of the cross. God, here it is. This situation is you. You tell me the solution. We're not telling him how we want our problem solved. I've got a bad habit of doing that, I swear. I've got a bad habit of trying, trying to make up, uh, tell God how to solve my problem. God, I can't solve the problem, but I know you have the power. So here's how I want you to solve it. Our worship, this is the key, our worship and our gratitude allows God to work wonders, perform miracles, and give us the peace and tranquility that are hard to understand. A peace beyond understanding. We replace worry with worship, and we turn anxiety into thankfulness. Thank you, Lord, for what you're about to do. Thank you, Lord. Here's my problem. I'm laying it at your feet. I know you have the power to solve it. Here's our tip for today. A thinner line on your locator. Some of you might not have got this one right. A thinner line on your locator screen signifies a hard bottom. That's right. The thin line means that you got it, you're looking at a hard bottom down there. As the line gets wider and bigger, it means that if it's silty. You don't want something that's got a real mushy looking line down there because that's silt and probably it's not a great place for a bass to live. Hard bottoms are exactly what you're looking for in fishing. Hard bottoms. That's cool. Guys and girls, go out there and have a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you.